Santa Fe is one of the smaller islands that had tortoises to begin with. And when the pirates first arrived in Galapagos, they ate a few tortoises. The impact was not great, but when whalers came, and particularly in the early half of the 1800s, whalers began filling up the holds of their ship with live tortoises because it provided food on their long voyages. By returning these 201 tortoises to Santa Fe, we are helping to restore the natural balance of this island. So today, the park and Galapagos Conservancy brought 201 young Española tortoises and carried them up about over a little over three kilometers up to a very nice habitat for tortoises with cactus lots of food to eat and release them onto the island so that they could start a new restoration of the island with the original type of animal that was here. We hope these young tortoises released today will become adults, reproduce and start rebuilding their new home. Giant tortoises play a key role in island ecosystems by helping to disperse seeds and acting as tractors in very bushy areas. For the next two years, we will focus on monitoring the 30 tortoises that have been fitted with radio telemetry equipment. Over a total of 10 years, we expect the project to provide a lot of information about the effect of their presence on Santa Fe after an absence of 150 years. This is an effort from the Ministry of Environment and Galapagos National Park, enhanced by the support of Galapagos Conservancy, which has invested in research and analysis to find the most appropriate way to return giant tortoises to Santa Fe. This is new to Galapagos. It's new in many parts of the world and can be a model for the rest of the world.